So for those of you who were on my stream last night, this is kind of like where we left off. However, I have updated these materials. Now I have done so very basically using a new add-on called Realistic Touch, which is a whole bunch of grunge materials and textures, and you kind of just slap it on together and it's... <laughs> and for those of you who recall my Star Citizen video, this is very similar. And I mean, very basic material set up using this stuff. Let me just show you. So we're rocking the default cube. I've already deleted it, re-added it. Tap into edit mode. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a bevel. Let's auto smooth that puppy. Create a brand new material. From here, just add a little bit of a dirt texture onto there. Now, when you first do it, nothing happens. However, if I do control T and I've got the node wrangler add-on enabled, there we go. So now we've kind of got this very nice, simple, you know, bit of grunge on the default cube. However, I want a bit more oomph. So with that, let's throw on this dirt here, connect the vector to the vector, and we'll put it on the roughness. And now you can see how the light is working off it. Just gonna lower this one so it's a little bit more in line with each other. And then that way it really accentuates. If I go U, cubic projection, let's just put an area light on it. And you can see how the light now is reacting to it. Oh, it's so good. Let's, let's try one more thing. Now, for those of you who remember, we built this on live stream as well. Um, I'm just doing the final touches to this ship before it goes up on Patreon, just the center console there. But from here, I'm gonna hide that material. Let's go Alt H, sorry. Hide the glass, hide the decals, and then I'm gonna select everything else. We will go ahead into Shader Editor, create a new material, and make sure we copy all that to selected. Back over into Realistic Touch, I might go Dirt, Control T, put the result base in there. Oh, that's not bad. Let's do a U cubic projection. Whoops, let's select everything. Actually, maybe we'll do a smart UV wrap on this one. That semi works pretty good. I might go a bit of a brown color on this one. Nice, nice. Bare materials. From here, let's throw in the grunge into the roughness, down into there. I think the black here is a little bit too strong, so we'll bring that back up to about there. Oh, the way the sun gleams over that puppy. What we might do is I'm going to increase the scale of the UV. Two, 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 five, five, five. And I'm, I'm digging that. What we can do as well, let's just throw on an ambient inclusion node while we're at it. Mix color. Throw that one in there. We go into here. And then we go down into here, add, mix, we go add. And like I've done in a previous video, if we want to know where it's actually ambient inclusioning, we can do that. Let's throw on a color ramp, bring that all the way in. We're just trying to isolate all the pink to be around the edge. Like so, excellent. Let's now go back into a dark, darker color. Give it a bit of a brown through there. Let's now do a bit of an Alt H to unhide. And the way that that gleams in the sun. Mm, oof, that is spicy. Yeah, link in the description for all this stuff. 